All right, welcome everybody to my channel. And today I want to start a new series. And that series is going to be called Building a Startup from Scratch or something similar. So I have a couple reasons why I would like to start the series. First off, I think building your own startup, specifically a software as a service or SaaS startup, is a very interesting process because there are so many different things involved, right? You have to build a product that customers actually enjoy, that gives them value. There's the whole legal aspect of a company and learning how to handle that. And um, I think there's just so many different things that uh, just actually doing it instead of learning the theory behind it or whatever, actually just trying to build your own startup will be a great learning experience for us. And I'm saying us because I want to build in public because I think that's just a very cool thing to do because I can get feedback on the products and you can learn how things are done with me together, uh, ask questions if you have so I can try them out. And I think it just will be way more fun to start this whole thing as a community thing. And as usual, with a startup, you need an idea. So I tried thinking, what do I need personally? Where could I provide value to someone? Uh, what's an area that I have knowledge in? And I found out that as a student myself, what would be really neat is uh, a tool that helps you write essays. And so that was my idea. And I got started building it. And uh, by now, there's actually, a, I wouldn't call it minimum viable product yet, but there is something that I created, which I would really like to show you. And to be honest, this is my first startup. So I haven't done a lot of market research. I haven't done a proper product, product market fit uh, analysis. I honestly just wanted to try building a product because I'm quite new to coding as well. It's been about uh, half a year since I started with React and Next.js and those are the technologies that this startup will be based on. So mainly this channel might be focused on other developers, but I would love to hear from anyone who is just generally interested in building your own startup. I was inspired by channels like uh, Simon Heuberg, which I really like. He does a lot of content about uh, software as a service startup and I got inspired and thought that is something that uh, I can actually do too, where I can provide value to someone else. And so enough talking, let me show you what I have created until now, which features I have decided to implement and which features might be added uh, in the future. And one side effect of this whole uh, community building thing is that I hope that over time when, when we grow bigger, uh, there will actually be beta testers of the products that we build. So people that get the product for free and in return might give feedback on how to improve, which features would be nice to have in the product and so on. The application I thought of is called Wordful AI and essentially what it does, uh, as the name might suggest, it's an AI assistant that helps you write essays. What I found with similar tools is that they, they write the essay for you, essentially, right? So there's an AI that helps you write essays, but pretty much the only thing you do is press buttons and let the AI handle the rest. And while that might be a cool concept if you're writing like a high school essay or whatever, I think it doesn't give you nearly as much, as much flexibility thinking about what you want to write. Because while you're writing, the AI suggests an auto-completion. And for me personally, I found that really distracting because you were thinking about how do I continue this sentence and uh, what am I going to write next? And while you were thinking that, the AI already made an auto-completion suggestion, which just really, it, it didn't really help, it just uh, it was just very distracting. So the idea I came up with is that you press a hotkey instead of the AI making the completion after like uh, two seconds of not typing. So the benefit is you can always think about what you would like to put into this essay. And then when it's time, when you would like a suggestion for an idea, how to complete the sentence, whatever you might need uh, assistance with, then you can always press the hotkey and there will be help right away. And I just found that to be a way more user experience friendly approach uh, in comparison to always having the AI just auto-suggest right away. 
And that is pretty much where we are now. I got started on the front end just a little bit and uh, my idea is to integrate the demonstration of the software into the front end. So onto the landing page when, when people visit the project um, they are able to type a sentence and then make a completion based on that. And then for the actual product I integrated about three features until now which is one, the sentence auto-completion. And uh, that was quite a pain to integrate, honestly, because um, so it works good now, but I was very new to the concept of um, rich text editors in Next.js or React. And it was, a, it was a challenging concept to grasp, just the whole DOM node thing, how to manipulate text, how to insert a custom inline text, such as the auto-completion, it wasn't easy, but I managed to do it. And uh, having that figured out was a big help. So adding features like the headline generation, which lets you type text and then make a heading generation from an AI ba based off of that selected text was uh, pretty easy to integrate. Also a synonym feature, which suggests synonyms for you while you're writing your text. It's just a very convenient way, so you don't have to get out of the flow of writing, switch over to Google, search for a synonym, then look at what might fit you. Instead, you can just stay right in Wordful and, um, you know, just get a suggestion right away, which I think is way more convenient. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, that's where we are right now. We just got started with the whole project and I will be going over these features in more detail in the upcoming videos. So this video is just a general broad overview of where this project might lead us, um, which direction we are headed into. And then in the following videos, I want to elaborate on the features I added, on the ideas for the future, and uh, yeah, how we might proceed uh, with this whole project. All right, for now, thanks so much for watching my first video. I really appreciate it. And I hope you're enjoying this whole building your startup thing as much as I do.